All right, welcome to the Marble Lab, okay? This is a classic lab that pretty much anybody who's uh, taken physics has done this lab, right? Um, this is the gist of the lab. You're going to set up a little ramp like this and probably just prop this thing up on like a single textbook is probably high enough, right? You're going to roll that down a ruler. The marble is going to roll across the table at some speed, okay? So while it rolls across the table, we're going to measure how fast it's going with a stopwatch, right? And then when it leaves the table, it's going to follow a trajectory here. This is a cliff problem that we can solve. So the whole point of this lab is to figure out what this horizontal distance is here, okay? And ultimately, we're going to put like a little cup there, like this. And hopefully the marble will land in the cup, right? That, that That's sort of our goal, okay? Now, really, this lab has two parts, right? So you can take your paper and, and literally just divide it up into two, two little things like this. Here we go. There you go. Look how straight a line I can draw. I'm so skilled. I'm not just holding the shift key down, okay? So part one, part one is, is uh, where we're going to actually figure out the speed of the marble here. We're just going to use the formula that V is X divided by T because that marble should roll at a constant speed. You're always going to drop it. Always pick the same spot. And if you drop it from the same spot, it should always roll with the same speed as long as you keep that ramp the same height. Okay. It's going to roll with the same speed, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to set up a couple meter sticks here. Okay. This distance will be one meter. And you'll literally roll that marble right down between the meter sticks, right? You'll start the, the timer when the marble gets to here. You'll stop it when it gets there and then catch it. Don't let it hit the floor because you don't want to give away the ending, right? Okay, so for part one, make yourself a little data table like this. Uh, we're going to do trials. Let's do three trials. Let's go one, two, three. Three, four is too boring and, and, and uh, two isn't enough, right? You know, so we'll time this with, with our stopwatch, right? We'll roll it down. And let's suppose that we get um, the time is uh, 0.81 seconds and 0.87 seconds and 0.93 seconds or something like that, right? We would have these three trials there. So literally we roll it down, time it from here to here, stop it, right? Roll it down again, time it from here to here, stop it, right? Okay. And then we would get the average, right? Well, let's get the average of that, right? So we take our calculator and we go 0.81 plus uh, 0.87 plus 0.93. One might wonder why it's trending up. And then I'm going to divide that by 3. Let's see, do I have those typed in? I do. And my average is 0.87, which is crazy, right? 0.87 seconds, right? And that's just the time it takes to roll across here, okay? Now, my velocity, my speed of the marble, right? This is the horizontal speed. The speed is just x divided by t. If this is one meter that our little course is, and that's what you're going to use, you're going to use meter sticks, right? Then your speed is equal to one meter divided by 0.87. So let's do that. One divided by 0.87 is uh, 1.149, so I'm gonna say that's 1.15 meters per second. Okay, so that's part one. Okay, I just made up these numbers. You're gonna time the marble across there. Do it three times. Okay, our distance is, is one meter, okay? Now, part two, exciting part two, is this part here where it's like a cliff problem, right? the marble is going to leave the edge here with a velocity of 1.15 meters per second. I got that from here, right? Okay. And then we just need to figure out the, um, we need to figure out where it's going to land. Okay. So let's see, let's, uh, let's set this thing up, right? We're going to do a little whoop. Oh, failure to draw a horizontal line. Okay. And then we're going to go boom. Right. And then we're going to go X, V, I, V, F, a and T and X and V I and V F and A and T. You're going to do the same thing, right? This will be horizontal. This will be vertical. Okay. And now uh, what we want to do is use this velocity here. This is going to be our horizontal velocity, right? 
So this guy is 1.15. Now, of course, yours is going to be whatever you figured out, right? That's where you fill in your numbers here. Okay, this is zero. That's why these two are the same, right? This we think is negative 9.8 because we're on Earth. We think that the tables here are level, right? We think that the tables here are level, so there you go. That guy's going to be zero, right? And then um, it seems to me that we, we could measure the height of the table, right? So whatever this height is, Oh dear, wish I could just draw a horizontal line there. Okay, so we got to measure the height, the height of the table. Measure that with a ruler. Take a ruler and measure the height of the table. So let's suppose that the that the the height of the of the table is um, ninety eight centimeters, right? Remember that that's about point nine eight meters. Okay, so this x here is negative 0.98 meters, okay? Now we're all set. You can measure this, right? So this guy you're going to have to measure. Measure the table height, okay? This we know. This you calculated from before. Use the same thing from before, right? And now we're set. Now we can figure out. Actually, all we really care about is this guy, right? Okay, so the way this plays out is we solve for t. I'm going to use x as one half a t squared. So negative 0.98 is one half negative 9.8 times t squared. We'll find t. T will go across, and then this times t will give us this. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Let's solve this thing. So I'm going to go two times negative 0.98 over negative 9.8. That's going to be my t squared. So here we go. 2 times negative 0.98 divided by 9.8. This is, of course, going to be whoops, what did I just do? Negative 9.8. This is, of course, 0 0.2, right? equals t squared. So uh, t is going to be the square root of this, right? So we'll take the square root of both sides, right? Okay, so uh, raised to the 0. 0.5, and I get 0. 0.4472. Remember, you need write down about four digits, okay? So I'm getting 0. 0.4472 as the square root, which is kind of a funny thing, right? When you square root some numbers smaller than one, they get bigger. Right. Okay, so let's see. And then this is 0. 0.4472. Okay, and now we're set. Now we can figure out this, this horizontal distance here. Okay, uh, the, the x horizontal is always vi times t. So it's 1.15 times 0. 0.4472, which is what I got from this, right? Okay, so here we go. That guy times the point four four seven two times one point one five. I'm getting point five one four. I'll say point five one point five one four. <laughs> what am I gonna say? I don't know. One five one four. It's whoops four two eight. Okay, so I'm getting point five one four two eight for my answer there. That's a four here. There. Can't you tell it's a four? Well, that's a terribly written four. Okay. Um, there it is, right? So now what you're going to do, okay, so let's just double check this. I'm just going to do a little double check. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, yeah. Hey, that dog will hunt. Yeah, there we go. All right, um, so so now what you do is you measure that distance out. You're going to put this cup literally about 0.514 meters out there, right? So 51.4 centimeters. Place the cup out there. Now to do that, you've got to figure out where straight down below that edge of that table is, right? Figure that spot on the floor, right? And then measure horizontally that distance out. Put your cup there. Right, and then see if the marble, you know, you might get, you might be off side to side, but you should have this way covered. It should land that distance from there, right? 
uh, if you do this carefully, if you time this stuff carefully here, and then you do your calculations carefully, um, it really should work. Okay. Um, once you have done that, once you have done that, okay, once you've, you've confirmed that, what I want you to do is change this, maybe make this a little bit slower, right? Or make this a little bit faster. I, I recommend keeping it really slow. It's, it's hard to time a fast marble, right? Okay. And then just do this again. Do, do three trials, set this thing up. You don't need to measure the table again, right? So this will go a lot faster, right? But do all of this times two, okay? And then basically you're just going to show diagrams. This is what your paper is going to look like. Draw a little diagram of, um, of what your setup was, what you measured, right? And then just show these calculations. You're going to have part one, part two, right? You're going to show this and show this and then do it again. Do it one more time, okay? Uh, figure out the trials. These times will be slightly different. This will be slightly different, right? This will be the same because it's the same table, right? And then just do this calculation. Show what you did. Show your work like this um, and you're set.